One of the most popular uh, things now with fish finders I've known uh, noticed is uh, side imaging. Can you show us a bit more about side imaging and how it works? Sure. This is a Lowrance HDS-10 with the structure scan side imaging module attached to it. Um, basically, first thing you got to do is orient yourself to the screen. You're, you're basically right up here in the top. This is to the left. This is to the right of you. Um, so your boat's traveling this way, and this is history you've traveled over. So rather than scrolling this way like a traditional chart, it scrolls top down. Um, basically what you're looking at here is just the surface clutter, this white line, this gap here, and then the water column, and then right here is where the bottom starts on either side, and it's a top-down view is basically what you're looking at. Is there, I noticed that there's a, a, a blank space in between here, and I've heard other anglers ask the question before, is that, you know, so much a dead zone in, in it, and if there is a dead zone, how wide could we expect that to be? Sure, the dead zone, it's, it's not a dead zone at all. Um, it will change um, based on the depth you're in is how wide it will be. If you're shallower, it'll be narrower. Um, you're deeper, it'll be wider. But as you can see, there's a lot of information in that, um, that blank area. Here where there's schools of bait fish up off the bottom, that's what you're looking at here. Mm -hmm. um, these lines here are most likely game fish going through it. Mm -hmm. um, what you're gonna do with this is basically, that's the area your down imaging is gonna cover right. or your traditional sonar. And, and will a unit allow you to, to do a, a dual screen with, the, with the, the, uh, the side image and a down image? Yeah, you definitely can do that okay. where we can do a split screen so we can look at all of that at once. Right, yeah. and, and one of the other questions is, is certainly, I, I think a lot of people are confused as to when you can use your side scan. Is a side scan unit something that can be used while you're sitting still or, or anchored? Or is sure. it something that you have to be moving? For? Yeah, you have to be moving. Okay. Um, there, it needs movement to get the, the proper images. And you know, to an extent, traditional sonar needs that as well. That's right. The optimum speed for this, I found, is about four to six miles an hour. So, so obviously there's a great advantage to somebody who is, is doing a lot of trolling um, I, I would say that, you know, I know from experience a lot of guys that, that I fish with, you know, will use it for, for the pre-fish. Yeah. You know, if you're, you're covering a lot of water, uh, you know, obviously seen uh, there's a lot of times where, you know, guys are either pre-season or during maybe a, a closed season where they're, they're not uh, running with rods on their deck. And I've mm -hmm. seen guys during the season out pre-fishing and they don't even have a rod out. They're just yeah. marking structure, looking for fish all day long. Exactly. And that's what you'll see with that's the side imaging. You idle around a lot you're generally, when you're actually fishing, not going to use it a lot. Right. You're, when you're going to be looking for spots, mm -hmm. that's when you're going to use your side imaging. Would you say that there is an opportunity for, say, a troller to potentially run through schools or run through through a school of bait and, and yep. use that as such, you know, yeah, be prepared for? We've had um, quite a few um, you know, guys who troll on the Great Lakes for salmon and trout that's come right. in and buy these units. Okay. They're not using it the same way bass fishermen are. No. Like, here we're looking at a lot of structure that's on right. the bottom. That's what the bass guys are using it for. The trolling guys are looking to find bait fish or schools of fish out off to the sides of their boat suspended Perfect. in the water. So certainly something that the, uh, you know, both the freshwater and saltwater trolling yep. uh, side can use and the offshore guys. Excellent.